This is Twit. And uh, Google did have a problem this last week. They shut them down on Friday uh, with a what's called a malvertiser. There, they were servicing. They were serving ads through their DoubleClick subsidiary. They remember they bought DoubleClick a few years back uh, from a another ad network um, called Zedo, z e d o dot com. And one thinks that the, this was one of those uh, domain name driven <laughs> companies where it's like, okay, what names are left? Zito is yeah. left. Okay, <laughs> fine. Well, that's only four letters. That's good. We'll go with Zito. You did check squirrel.com, I hope. Uh, oh, yeah, that was, I was gone a long time ago, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Although I got it in a few of the, you know, random, you know, off brand domains, but, you know, just, just to have it. This Zito.com, uh, was uh, was probably I mean they I looked at that at their website they looked legitimate too so I think what happened was they were inadvertently hosting a malicious ad that somebody sent through their network which they then sent through DoubleClick which then Google sent out to uh, Last dot FM was one of the big sites hosting these mal this malvertising, the Times of Israel and the Jerusalem Post. So, I you know draw your own conclusions, but those were the three that were mentioned as being the heavy carriers of this malicious ad, which was hosting JavaScript, of course, which would then download the Zermot. Downloader Z E R M O T, which is well known. Uh, Microsoft knows about it. Windows Defender and Security Essentials both know about it. So you know, pretty much anybody who had good, active, up to date anti malware would probably not have had a problem. But anybody who wasn't running anti malware and visited those sites. Um, and I don't think you needed a click. I think it was a no user action required. The script just ran and, you, you know, somehow leveraged some some behavior in the browser to get outside of the browser sandbox and people were being infected. So uh, go, the moment Google found out, they which was last Friday, they they foreclosed, they, they lowered the boom on Zito. Yeah, and uh, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've seen yeah. it happen uh, with any kind of auto. Yahoo's had it happen to them. Automated um, advertising platform. You know, it, they're set up so that you don't have to get anybody's approval. You just buy an ad yes. and you put it in there. Well, they got to fix that. That's not a good, you know, unattended uh, HTML and uh, and CSS and who knows what else. Yeah, it's not it, a good it's thing. A, it is a really, I mean, it, it, it's an inherent, an inherent problem with the way the advertising model has developed. Yeah. I mean, and and I've talked about this when you know I see because I'm using NoScript, if I'll, I'll 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 like click on the little logo on in the toolbar, and I, I look at the the number of domains which are enumerated there by NoScript, which are are referred to by the page I am visiting and trying to provide their own content to this page. I mean, so, so the, 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 the truth is that, that, that servers are, are trusting a vast network of other content and and it's just sort of it's it's sort of accrued over time like barnacles. It's like oh well, we want to be able to you know use the features of jQuery. So jQuery, you know, is now one of the blobs that each web page we serve. I don't mean we GRC because I don't use them, but but you know that's that's the way these things are done. Is is browsers are pulling from an incredible number of third parties and one type of of third party that just tends to be a little more in the gray zone uh is ad ad servers you know they're just serving lots of ads and so and the fact that they're that they they have the ability to change the content at will and in some cases to make them um sensitive to the context of the user or where they're visiting you know it's like well ads on this site will tend to have this kind of content um, th that means that that you're not able to lock them down and like check the script and then ask it to 
to qualify through some checksum. The ads are just changing all the time. So it's it's a disturbing it's a disturbing um, aspect of of the way we're using the web. And we'd like to be able to turn off JavaScript. But, uh, you know, I'm running into more and more sites that, you know, over time, this is, you know, we, we would expect this. Over time, sites are becoming increasingly dependent upon scripting. They're wanting to run code in your browser to offer you the more, you know, the web whatever version we're on now. <laughs> I think I heard Andy say it's 49.2 or something, you know, web, web, web version whatever in order to give us the features. That, that we want. So so less and less running with no scripting enabled at all uh, is becoming infeasible.